Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your weekly oracle reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Gemini. Thank you God for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. So the reading really uh, is about what you need to do Gemini in order to have what it is you want out of a particular relationship it looks like a romantic relationship for some of you it's going to be a marriage so some of so uh, you just you probably need to follow what's going on here in order to kind of change or shift the energy the dynamic of the relationship because uh, the cards want you to know that you can have abundance here how can you have abundance you can have abundance uh, by letting go also let go let god um do what you can in order to shift the energy in order to change your personality or maybe how you deal in interpersonal connections how you're showing up the only thing that you govern that you control is yourself okay um it says that yes yes someone is arrogant uh, prideful boastful conceited in this relationship here with haltiness coming up um, but you can shift that energy or if it's something that you want to work with it's all up to you you can either let it go altogether or you can let go and let god and let um some energy shift here how you can shift that energy is um by taking advantage of some of these spells here your home is your temple so some of you need to anoint your home with different protective uh essential oils like cinnamon clove dragon's blood myrrh um i'm going to i don't know if it, it can focus here yeah let's focus boom 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 nope out of focus okay what i'm going to do is post these on a community tab for some of you who want to take advantage of that and then also grow your own earthly delights. Okay, so if you want a happy relationship, it can be cultivated. So that means it, it can be grown, literally. Um, plant different plants here. If you want more sensuality, more, more love, plant some jasmine, some night blooming jasmine. Um, if you want lasting commitment, plant some lilies. If you want romance, plant some roses, okay? Um, and do this during a new moon okay and specifically a new moon in venus oh a new moon in a maybe a venus rule sign taurus or libra therefore the energy is um stronger but you can do it any time um that's how you can have a better relationship because you're dealing with somebody who's very prideful very arrogant very conceited very boastful they could be this could be you also gemini um someone is a uh, the homeowner or calls the shots or you know um takes on all obligation in the home here therefore they think that they can boss each and every uh, they, they think that they can boss everyone else around okay they think that they're the lord over everyone this could be you it could be your partner um you feel like this person dictates what you need to do or how you need to do it um a dictator but it seems as if you want this relationship because we do have hope you're anticipating positive outcome better return in terms of this relationship also you could be waiting for some type of approval um a, the go ahead um maybe an application uh good news in terms of uh, something an, an announcement coming to you uh, about good news something that you've done you're waiting for that energy to return here uh, you could also be dealing with somebody who has just lied they're just corrupt right now in this relationship they lie um, they're deceptive in nature uh, they're trying to cover up their mistakes here uh, they're just coming off as a, a false person falseness here okay um, they're trying to come off sweet and innocent like the cat but that they're so far from that and this could be you Gemini uh, it seems as if some of you are losing the house here. Now, if you're not losing the house, um, you could be losing the relationship. I also got that from this. Um, or feel like you're losing the relationship. You feel like maybe the health of the relationship is declining here. Or so, Yeah, it's not getting better. 
um, and how to make it better. Take advantage of some simple spells. Um, pray, let go, let God, whatever happens here happens. It's supposed to happen. Hang on to hope, faith, prayer, anticipate positive news. Uh, because a fiery climax is coming to you with the full moon and Aries here. So something will be illuminated to you, something that will cause you to take action. It could be an eruption of energy where um, there's a big blow up or um, argument. There's some words spoken here also. Um, you feel like somebody is just not spiritually aware and they need to get some spiritual awareness, okay? Um, I might have spelled that wrong. Um, you, they could think that you're nuts, okay? Or you think that someone else is nuts. You think that they are just off their rocker. And you also feel as if this relationship is driving you crazy. Um, yeah, the relationship is driving you crazy. This person is driving you crazy. Uh, the only way to actually ground this energy is to let go. I think somebody's holding on so tightly because the other person has maybe the materials uh somebody could be materialistic someone has everything that someone wants someone could be the breadwinner the homeowner can buy you nice things take you on nice trips so therefore you deal with um maybe um you deal with lackluster energy in your relationship it's not fulfilling um you're not happy uh this person is arrogant um maybe you're the butt of the joke um you're the last to know uh you have to deal with the leftovers i don't know something of that of that nature um if you don't try to shift this energy and maybe even stand up for yourself here with this with um a fiery climax approaches um nothing will come of this situation okay so it's going to be void of course like you're not going to get anything out of this it'll just be wasted time and opportunity um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio here also. It just seems as if somebody just uh, feels like they have you under their thumb. You're beneath them, okay? Uh, they they value you. They appreciate you, but for maybe a superficial reason and vice versa. Maybe you like them and you appreciate them for superficial, materialistic reasons. And maybe this is why you get the energy that you get. But there's something going on here to where um, somebody's very boastful, arrogant, proud. Um, they don't treat people in the most respectable way. It could be you, Gemini, also. It's up to you what you want to do in this situation. This is what I have for you, Gemini. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. You can get an oracle reading just like this one at the website level or any reading. You can also ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you.